All right, so pay attention to this. This is something really important. Uh, to go ahead and be able to go ahead and take this sequence or this uh, this sequence that we go ahead and put together here, which is this one, we're going to go ahead and use the calculator to go ahead and model the rest of the sequence. And this is really easy to do with the calculator, but you have to tell it a certain uh, certain things, and you have to do it just right. You hit mode, and you look for S E Q which is right there. So right there, that sequence, I've just turned on the sequence. And now I can go ahead and go to Y equals, and it'll bring up this strange menu. You can tell it where to start, where to stop. Now, it's saying U sub N on this line right here that I have my cursor on. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and start with. So this is where I'm going to be putting this formula. That's where this formula goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So now instead of a sub n minus 1, I'm going to put u sub n minus 1. And to put u, I'm going to have to use second 7. Second 7 is the actual uh, the actual key for this, for this particular thing because this is the way it works. Do not use alpha... Uh, let me see, alpha uh, 5. Do not use alpha 5 because that's not the right U. Because we're looking for the little yellow U right here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So now we need to put sub. So I put parentheses. And then I hit the button where it says right here, link right next to the alpha. It says X right here. Oh, I hit it too many times. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So I just have one N. And I'm just going to type in minus 1, just like what it says right here that we put together where it says minus 1. So, and then we're going to put plus 2. Now, the only other thing that we need to do is tell it where we're going to start. So this is where we're going to be using brackets because we're going to be using a basic list. So we hit alpha, oh, not alpha, but second parentheses and it brings up the bracket and then we just type in the first number that we're going to be using now remember a sub one, a zero is equal to five so we're going to be starting at five so we type in five alpha parentheses and then push enter and now it's all inside the calculator if I did my everything correctly if I hit second graph or go to the table it should bring me the table that I need. So right here it says zero is an error because zero be, there's no number before zero because that is um, that is there's nothing before that. But the sequence is correct. It says five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. It keeps on going on forever. So that's what we have right here, and that's basically how you go ahead and put in a sequence into the calculator, a recursive sequence into the calculator.